Hey guys and gals, uh, this is Brian and we're bringing you Wicked Rhombus Racing. So this is a very generic first introduction video shot on my iPhone. Uh, things will get better hopefully, but this is our first video for our YouTube channel. Uh, and we want to bring you the attention to uh, what our next race car is. You've seen some Instagram posts hopefully, uh, but we're just really gonna document this. Uh, we have been racing a Corvette for a few years. Dan's been racing a Corvette for a long time. Uh, that car has been sold and we picked up this 2012 Audi TTRS from a gentleman in West Virginia. Uh, I'll go over more kind of the story of that later, but, um, so this is a street car. Uh, we drove it from West Virginia to Arizona, uh, last week and cars got, as it sits now, 130,000 miles on it. It's been a proven car. It was built originally by 034 Motorsports. Uh, TAG Motorsports and AWE kind of in combination for uh, ex-professional uh, snowboarder. Um, so it's got a history and we have saved it uh, from West Virginia, brought it here to Arizona. So without further ado, here is the Wolf. So here we have it. This is a Suzuka Gray 2012 TTRS. These cars are a 2.5 liter turbo five cylinder, six speed manual, all wheel drive. This car currently in its uh, state has a set of KW variant two coilovers, a ton of 034 Motorsports uh, parts, including engine mounts, transmission mounts, motor mounts, uh, rear sway bar, 42 draft design, short shift kit, um, just a lot of good parts uh, th that were on this uh, that just led us to want to get it. Uh, I see here these amazing Recaro uh, Sportster CS seats. Uh, these will actually get taken out, probably reupholstered. They're just showing a little signs of wear and stuff, but uh, these will not be for sale. These will go in uh, another car uh, that we own. Alcantara steering wheel was done. So the intent for this car is basically rip it apart, uh, take the full interior out of it. Uh, we are going to time trial it the rest of the year, which is, uh, we will wait to take the interior out. So we will race it as it is in time trials, which are just for lap times uh, with full interior and just see how it does. We will literally leave the car as it is, uh, do the necessary maintenance and things like that. So the big part on this car is it has a Audi Sport customer racing, what was originally called the Loba Turbo Kit, uh, 034, then took that program over and dubbed it the RS500 and did their own software and everything on it. However, in the mix of this car being one of the first ones out there with this turbo kit, the original owner uh, had GIAC do a full custom tune on it. So this car has filing maps for both 91 and 100 octane. Uh, we will race it on 91 octane just to keep power levels, but uh, the original owner said it did 400 wheel horsepower and around 410-ish wheel torque on 91 octane. If we decided to bump that up, uh, to 100. It's about 450 and 460. Some of the other parts here, these are actually Euro code, or uh, not Euro code, E code, uh, European headlights. The brakes are OEM brakes with upgraded Giro disc rotors, factory calipers uh, repainted by Nick Roshan of at Nick's Car Blog. Go ahead and check him out. There are some parts on this car from his. 
uh, but just uh, factory brake setup with aftermarket rotors and pads. That is the factory uh, caliper, just painted with the Brembo sticker on it. Looks nice. Rear brakes, again, factory with uh, the larger diameter Giro disc rear rotors. So this exhaust is the AWE tuning switch path exhaust and is actually was the second one they built. And I'll include a photo of the little um, switch path system that says it's actually serial number 2002. We've got the Oser design carbon fiber rear wing, nice condition, carbon fiber gas cap, and the MTM rear diffuser. See it there, isn't that exhaust? So yeah, the plan again, we will do time trials with the full interior. <coughs> we'll probably take the seats out of it. We have an extra race seat that we use in the Corvette. Uh, we'll install the harnesses properly and race it as is. Uh, we'll go do a different wheel and tire setup, but um, just see how it does. Uh, we think it's already faster than what the Corvette was. For all that didn't know, we raced a C5, a 2000 Corvette the last two and a half years and we're actually locally GTR class champions. Last year, this car makes about 30 or 40 more horsepower than that and weighs about 300 pounds less, so uh, it should do a quite okay job on the road courses that we have around here and some of the local ones in California. But the ultimate goal, this will be a 100% race car, fully stripped out, fully caged later this year, fire safety system, racing seat, racing steering wheel, uh, and it will, we will do door-to-door -door racing in this car just as we did with the Corvette. So the neat thing is uh, nobody else in our classings runs an all-wheel drive car and nobody else, at least as of right now, even has a force induction car. So having a turbo, small wheelbase, all-wheel drive, uh, this should be a pretty fun car to rip around the tracks here. Uh, we're hoping the 3,300 pound weight now, we can maybe get that to under 3,000 uh, ish. We have no idea what interior components will weigh and then just the other stuff we can take out of it. Um, so yeah, this is the first first video of Wicked Rhombus Racing starring its TTRS. And I'll just give you a real quick tour just so you know. Uh, I've been with Audi. I've been selling out these for 16 years. Uh, it's stable mates. This is a 2000 front wheel drive, 180 horsepower TT that I drive every day. 2005 Audi All Road. Open up the big door. Open the big door here. Yeah. Sorry about that. 2005 Audi All Road that I just picked up. That is Dan's daily driver. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm just going to get this out there. Uh, Wicked Rhombus Racing. Uh, owned and operated by a gay couple. Yes, disturbing the world of racing and opening minds, hopefully. So, uh, like or hate, whatever. But uh, we are two car guys that share a passion. Uh, this is, we call him Spike. This is a all-wheel drive 2000 five-speed uh, TT Coupe that we are the second owner of. And then we turn to these two beauties. So this is 2019 RS3, uh, Unitronic engine and transmission software, Miltec mid-pipes, 19-inch uh, 1552 whole-shot RSR wheels, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, and H, or I'm sorry, KWHAS, uh, spring kit are the only modifications to this car and then we have this one so this is my baby 2009 r8 coupe v8 and as the plate says gated six this is a six-speed manual it is on airlift suspension 1552 formula gt wheels and miltech exhaust are the only modifications this car will stay with me until i'm not here anymore it's never going to go away. This is a dream come true and only was made purposeful or made on made possible rather uh, because of a tragedy. So um, this car is near and dear to my heart. Um, so I think that is, that's all. That's the uh, stable of Audis, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's actually a third one of these back there. That is a wrecked car. You can actually see it bit through the fence there um, that is a parts car just for the other two so so there you have it that is the wolf 
and that is the new race car for Wicked Rhombus Racing. Thanks everybody, and we will be doing more videos kind of as things go along. I uh, greatly appreciate it, and uh, keep tuned. Thank you.